Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today we are taking a look at another e-bike. This is from Engui. I'm not quite sure how that's pronounced, uh, but this is called the M20. And I'm actually pretty excited about this bike, uh, just for the fact that it is a dual battery bike. As you can see here, we have two batteries on it. Now you can order this bike as a single battery unit or a dual unit, and uh, it comes in a couple different colors. You can get it in black, white or the green version which is what I have here in front of me and uh, yeah so today we're going to go for a test ride and uh, see how it uh, how it performs and uh, Spike actually has a lot of nice features uh, it's not overly expensive which is good you know um, anytime you can get a good deal on something that's still decent quality is always a good thing you can see here at the front we actually have a nice headlight a nice big headlight dual headlights and uh, each one can be adjusted and angled separately so you know you can set it up to your own liking uh, the other nice thing about it is that it's dual suspension we have our suspension in the front here and then in the back here you can see we have a single suspension there hooked to the back you know so it does give you a nice smooth ride you know and that can be important for some people uh, you know especially if you've got joint or back issues you know some of those jarring bumps can uh, make biking a little uncomfortable and, uh, you know, of course, you have the benefit of it being an e-bike, you know, so if you do have some joint uh, muscle pain, uh, problems with your knees, an e-bike like this can make that a little bit more comfortable for biking because you're not putting so much pressure on the joints. I actually really like the styling of it. It's kind of different than a uh, traditional e-bike. And this company actually sells all kinds of e-bikes if you go to their website. I will include a link down in the description. Uh, they have traditional mountain bikes, they have folding bikes. They actually have a really nice folding mountain bike. It's a full-size folding mountain bike. So if you do need to get something in a smaller, uh, you know, space, you know, for storage or for transportation, you know, that comes in handy. And I believe it is a dual battery bike as well. Now, just to go over a few basic specs of this bike. Uh, I'm not sure what it's rated for. Uh, their website says 28 miles per hour. Um, I have it set to kilometers right now, and uh, on the way up here, I was hitting about 45 kilometers, so I'm not sure what that translates to offhand. It's got a 750 watt motor in the back there, and it peaks out. It can get up to 1,000 watts at peak. We have mechanical disc brakes. It has a 7-speed Shimano shifter. It has 20-inch by 4-inch fat tires, so if you're going to be doing some off-road riding, you know, you've got some... Uh, some good grip there which is can be important too for especially when you're riding and stuff like this you know you want to make sure you have good traction now each one of these batteries is 13 amp hours so when you order the dual system you're going to have a total of 26 amp hours so that's going to give you a lot of riding the company claims you can get 37 miles of range per battery when you're using full electric or 47 miles an hour if you're using pedal assist level one so you can double that if you're using dual batteries, you know, so you do get a good amount of range on it if that's something you're looking for. Now the company claims that the bike comes in at 76 pounds without the batteries installed. It's 94 pounds with one battery and 105 pounds with the second battery, you know, so there is a little bit of weight there, but definitely manageable. The speed at what you travel and how much mileage you're going to get per battery is really going to depend on the rider weight and of course the terrain you're riding in. If you're doing a lot of hills, you know, you are going to go through your battery a little bit quicker. Now, one thing I do want to point out with this bike is that a bike like this really is designed for cruising. It has actually a fairly comfortable seat on it, and uh, especially with that back suspension there, but it's non-adjustable, so it can make it a little difficult for pedaling, unlike a bike that has an adjustable seat. Now, you can definitely pedal it, actually, you know, it is fairly easy to pedal, but it's you're not going to maybe be as efficient as something a little bit different like a mountain bike. And just like most e-bikes, we have different levels of pedal assist. So if you want just a little bit of help, you're able to set it that at something like pedal assist level one. Or you can go all the way up, you know, to a higher pedal assist if you want a lot more help. And then we have the throttle over here on this side. And it has a very loud electric horn which can be important as well, you know, just to alert people that you're coming up behind them. Both batteries are lockable, which is important, again, if you have this chained up somewhere, if you're out doing some errands. So yeah, we're going to go and do some riding today. Uh, it's kind of a chilly day today, and uh, we don't have any snow, which is surprising for this time of year. But yeah, we are going to do some riding and uh, just go out and enjoy the day. I've got about 20 layers of clothes on just to stay warm. 
And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go out and have some fun. So let's go for another cruise. And I got the gloves on just so the hands don't freeze. It's a little bulky than what I normally wear when I'm riding, but uh, it's pretty cold today. I think it's about negative three right now. And uh, yeah, so let's go for a cruise. Contrary to popular belief, you can actually get a lot of exercise on these e-bikes. In fact, I think you can almost get more exercise than a traditional bike because they're just so fun to ride, you just want to get out and ride them all the time. And, uh, you know, just keep it at a low power level assist and you're going to get a good workout. Um, if you follow my channel or some of my vlogs, you know that I've been on a health journey the last uh, year, year and a half. I've lost over 200 pounds, almost 220 pounds now. And I accredit a lot of that to e-bikes. I've done a lot of biking, uh, especially this past summer. Yeah, I did a lot of biking. When I was living in Port Burwell at my aunt's trailer this summer, I was biking every day, like during the afternoon, evening. I'd always go for a nice evening ride. And uh, yeah, a lot of exercise and a lot of fun. Get out, get fresh air. And uh, yeah, so don't let that prevent you from getting an e-bike if you're worried about not getting exercise. Of course, if you're just using the throttle here, um, then yeah, you're not going to get much exercise. But yeah, pedal, keep it on a low power assist. You still have that fun and uh, you get some exercise. And if you get tired and you just want to take a break, get into full laze mode, you can uh, use the throttle or turn the power pedal assist up. bike handles pretty nice and this is definitely probably the smoothest riding bike I own um, I don't have any other e-bike that has dual suspension that suspension on the back seat makes a world of difference yeah it's wonderful morning yeah, a lot of people out walking today usually these trails are pretty empty but a lot of people out today getting some exercise burning off those extra Christmas calories yeah it's pretty bumpy back in here that suspensions coming in really nice and uh, my hands are getting cold so I'm going to stop here in a minute and uh, warm up, get some coffee. Ooh, lots of mud. Lots of mud. And uh, just for your, those who are curious, I'm filming this on the action 4 the dji action 4 and i've got the wireless mic that came with the pocket 3 paired to it via bluetooth that was one of the new features uh new firmware update that they released a couple weeks ago and uh really nice you don't have to have the dongle attached to it oh mucky 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 yeah great for scenarios like this uh, if you wear a helmet, moto vlogging, um, yeah, perfect for those types of scenarios. Yeah, these trails are pretty muddy. We've, um, ooh, been bumpy. We've had nothing but rain the last uh, last two or three days. This bike is fast. Love it. Definitely the fastest e-bike that I have. And uh, these dual batteries are gonna come in real nice this summer coming up. Be doing a lot of riding. 
Uh, let's cut through the forest here. Yeah, this footage might get a little shaky because it's kind of dark. Stabilization on these cameras don't work too well in this type of environment. There we go, back on the trail. Let's uh, kick her down and get some speed. We're gonna find a place where we can stop and relax a bit, have some coffee, cause I gotta warm my hands up a bit. They are cold. There we go. We're gonna take a bit of a break, have some coffee, um, warm my hands up. I have these in my pockets, they're hand warmers, and uh, almost a necessity for riding on a day like today. But yeah, nothing a little bit of hot coffee won't solve. Got it in my Skydio water bottle, but uh, this keeps my coffee nice and hot. So yeah, there we go. That was our first ride on the Engui M20 e-bike. I do have a few first impressions. Uh, first of all, this is the fastest e-bike that I've ever rode in. It has a lot of speed. Having that dual battery system is gonna come in extremely useful for me this summer. I do a lot of riding in the nicer weather and uh, that'll allow me to get a little bit further and not have to worry about running out of power. Now, as mentioned earlier on in this video, because it does not have an adjustable seat, it can make pedaling difficult for some people. Myself, I didn't find that. I found it actually pretty easy to pedal. I'm about 5'10", 5'11", somewhere in there. And uh, for me, it worked just fine. Definitely not as efficient as a mountain bike or something like that, but definitely is very doable. When it comes to get up and go power, the throttle hesitates a little bit. And now that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes I find with e-bikes, the throttles are a little oversensitive. And I've actually had myself kind of lunge out into traffic a little bit because I touch the throttle, not even meaning to go, and it will start to uh, lunge you forward. With this one, you actually have to make a conscious decision to twist the throttle, and then it will slowly ease into it. So a lot of people actually will appreciate that. And that goes for pedaling as well. Some e-bikes, as soon as you give it a little bit of power with the pedals, it just takes right off. This one, it takes a few seconds before it engages, which again is something I do like. Overall, I was pretty happy with it. It has an extremely smooth ride just due to that dual suspension. I've never rode an e-bike with dual suspension, so that was actually quite a treat. It does make quite a difference, especially if you are going to be biking on bumpy terrain. Now, as mentioned, this is just more of a first impressions video. I will be making follow-up videos with this bike as I ride it more, get to know it a little bit better. So if this is a bike you might be interested, make sure you stay tuned. You can also follow me on TikTok because sometimes I make videos there as well. Just little thoughts about products, things that don't really justify a whole video. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed coming along for a ride with me. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.